Good day, everyone. Today, we will be discussing data involving two variables. Together, let's make learning mathematics fun and easy. In this lesson, we will collect, organize, and present data on two variables in a single or double horizontal or vertical bar graph. Example, Ivan loves to help picking pineapples from their family's farm. Every day, he picks pineapples. Let us help him count how many pineapples he gathers for one week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Let us tally the number of pineapples gathered using this template. Number of pineapples gathered by Ivan for one week. Monday, the pineapple gathers is 12. On Tuesday, the pineapples gathered are 10. On Wednesday, the pineapple gathered by Ivan is 9. On Thursday, the pineapples gathered by Ivan is 11. On Friday, the pineapples gathered by Ivan is 15. Saturday, the pineapples gathered by Ivan is 20. And on Sunday, the pineapples gathered by Ivan is 19. What is the data all about? The data is all about the number of pineapples gathered by Ivan for one week. On what day is the least number of pineapples gathered? Wednesday is the least number of pineapples gathered. What is the greatest number of pineapples gathered? Saturday is the greatest number of pineapples gathered. Gathered. How many more pineapples gathered on Monday than on Tuesday? Twelve pineapples are gathered on Monday and ten pineapples on Tuesday. There are two pineapples more gathered than on Tuesday. What is the difference between the number of pineapples collected on Thursday and Friday? There are four more pineapples gathered on Friday than Thursday. What is a graph? A graph tells a story about the data or information given. What is a bar graph? A bar graph is one way of presenting sets of data which can either be vertical or horizontal in form. It can be used to show and compare information. What is a double bar graph? Double bar graphs help us 
to compare or present more than one kind of information instead of just one by using bars. Double bar graphs can be vertical or horizontal. Let's do this. Conduct a survey of the favorite fruit of your classmates and or friends. 10 boys and 10 girls by sending them messages on Messenger or SMS. Use the table to record the data. Favorite fruit of my classmates and friends. Fruits, pineapples. Boys, two. Girls, two. Rive mangoes. Boys, four. Girls, five. Rambutan. For boys, two. Girls, one. Lansones. For boys, one. Girls, one. Buko. Boys, one. And girls, one. What is the set of data all about? The data is all about the favorite fruit of my classmates and friends. Which fruit is the favorite among the girls' boys? Among all the fruits, the ripe mangoes are the favorite of the girls and boys. What is the least favorite fruit among the girls or boys? The least favorite fruits of the boys are lansones and buho, while for the girls are rambutan, lansones, and buko. What is the top choice fruit of both girls and boys? Mangoes are the top choice of fruit for both girls and boys. What is the least favorite fruit of both boys and girls? The least favorite of both boy and girls are lansones and buko. Let's do this. Ramil and Maria harvested vegetables in their farm. Data is shown in the table below. Vegetables harvested by Ramil and Maria. Okra has a total of 60. Eggplant has a total of 40. Squash has a total of 25. Pet chai has a total of 20 and Ampalaya has a total of 45. What is the set of data all about? The set of data are all about the vegetables harvested by Ramil and Maria. What vegetable has the highest weight harvested by Ramil and Maria? Okras has the highest weight harvested by Ramil and Maria. What vegetable harvested by Ramil was the least in weight? The vegetable harvested by Ramil with the least in weight is pet chai.
What vegetable harvested by Maria has the highest weight? The vegetable harvested by Maria with the highest weight is okra. How many kilograms of vegetables has the highest weight harvested by both Ramil and Maria? 60 kilograms is the highest weight harvested by both Ramil and Maria. Let's do this. Analyze the double bar graph below by answering the questions that follow. What is the title of the double horizontal bar graph? The title of the, the graph is Book Choice. What information is placed along the horizontal axis and along the vertical axis? The information in horizontal axis is the book subject, which is math and science, while along the vertical axis is the number of pupils. What is the different groups of data are being compared? The groups of data being compared is what book is the choice of the pupils, English book or science book. What book is the most favorite of the students? Both books gained a total of 22 votes among the pupils. How many students like math books? 24 pupils like math books. Let's do this. You can organize data in a tabular form and present it in a single or double vertical or horizontal bar graph. Here is the example table on your friend's favorite vegetables. How can this be presented in a graph? Favorite friend's vegetables. This is how we show it in a vertical graph let's do this construct a horizontal bar graph with the given data in the table below then answer the following questions test scores in mathematics 4 this is how we interpret it in a vertical graph. Who got the highest score? Kempt got the highest score. Who got the least score? Maria got the least score. What is the difference of the score of Maria and Marites? Marites got 15 points higher than the score of Maria. What is the total scores of Rowena and Arman? 175 is the total score of Rowena and Arman. What is the difference
between the combined scores of Kempt and Maria to the combined scores of Marietes and Rowena. 180 points are the combined scores of Kemp and Maria. 185 points for the combined scores of Marites and Rowena. 185 minus 180 equals 5 points difference. Let's do this. Construct a vertical bar graph with the given data in the table below. This is the vertical graph. How many melons were sold on Wednesday? 24 melons were sold on Wednesday. What day has the highest number of melons sold? Tuesday has the highest number of melons sold. What day has the least number of melons sold? Friday has the least number of melons sold. How many melons were sold on Monday? and Tuesday. 42 melons were sold on Monday and Tuesday. How many melons were sold on weekdays? 100 melons were sold on Monday on weekdays. Thank you for watching. Till our next mathematics lesson. Goodbye.